Let's start with question 15. 어디가 아파서 오셨어요? Here the ending 아서 어서 is used again to convey the fact that the situation in the preceding statement is the reason for the action stated in the following clause. So it literally means you came here because of pain where? In other words, where do you hurt? Listening to this question, you could assume that the location is a hospital and that the woman is a doctor. So the correct answer could be either 3 or 4. 어제부터 계속 배가 아파서요. 어제, yesterday, 부터, since, since yesterday, 계속, continually, 배가 아파서요. Stomach pain. Again, the 아서 ending indicating cause is used in 아파서, so it's like saying, because my stomach hurts. Here, the man is explaining that he came to the hospital because of the continuous stomach pain since yesterday. Now we can infer that this is his first visit. Since picture number 4 shows the doctor explaining the results of a test taken at a previous visit, we know that the picture that best describes this specific situation has to be number 3. Here, let me mention the features of this aso aso grammar point one more time. In a sentence with the expression aso aso heso at the center, the clause before this expression indicates the cause, and the clause after the expression indicates the effect. In context where the meaning is very clear, the result clause can be omitted entirely. In this particular conversation, the lines spoken by the man omit the effect and only state the cause. 어제부터 계속 배가 아파서 왔어요. Here's another example. Let's suppose that you just opened the window because it's quite hot and somebody asked you why you opened it. Like, 왜 창문을 열었어요? Of course, you could say, 날씨가 더워서 창문을 열었어요. But you can make it shorter by omitting the effect after 어서 as in 날씨가 더워서요. Even without mentioning the result, the listener would understand perfectly well that the action you took of closing the window was caused by the hot weather. Alright, now let me change gears for a minute and give you a pop quiz. What's the difference between 아파서요 and 아파서요? Again, that's 아파서요 아파서요. How would you write it? Actually, it's 아파서요 and 아팠어요. So, if the sentence ends with 아파서요, then it means that something happened because the subject of the sentence was sick. If the sentence ends with then it's just a statement indicating that the subject of the sentence was sick in the past. Sounds similar, but totally different situations, right? Wow, we covered quite many important points here. 
Well, let's move on to the next question. Here, the man is asking the woman, 식탁이 무거운데 같이 좀 들어줄래요? 식탁이 무거운데 같이 좀 들어줄래요? The table is quite heavy. Would you help me lift it? In pictures number one and two, the man is lifting the table or trying to. The woman answers, 네, 제가 여기를 들게요. Okay, I'll lift this part. If you look for a picture where the woman is also trying to lift the table, then you'll see that the correct answer is number one. In number two, the woman is trying to lift the chair, not the table. So it is not the correct choice. Now, let me go into a bit more detail about this dialogue to glean some grammar points from it. Notice the phrase 무거운데. Here, the connective ending 은데 는데 is used. This 은데 는데 is used to connect two clauses. The first one gives additional or background information about the following clause. Although it can be used to say the equivalent of so, and, but in English, the form does not indicate a chronological order to the two clauses. For example, 날씨가 좋은데 산책할까요? What is the background behind the speaker's invitation to take a walk? 날씨가 좋은데, a nice weather. So it basically means the weather is nice. So why don't we take a walk together? 옷이 예쁜데, 어디에서 샀어요? Why is the speaker asking where the listener bought their clothes? Because their outfit looks pretty. 옷이 예쁜데. Again, to connect these two clauses, the ending 은데 is used. As you can see here, when the preceding word is an adjective and the stem ends in a consonant other than 리얼, 은데 is added. 좋은데. 작다, 작은데. When the adjective stem ends with a vowel or the consonant 리얼, 리은데 is attached as in 예쁘다, 예쁜데, 길다, 긴데. So, Basically, as a brief review, because the final consonant liel combined with the consonant nian, the liel deletion rule was applied and it became kinde. On the other hand, if the word preceding nde nde was a verb, then nde would be attached regardless of what it ends with, as in bokta, mongnde, chada. 자는데 아기가 자는데 나중에 올래요? The baby is still asleep, so would you come a bit later? The next one is 을래요. This ending is combined with a verb in an informal situation and is used to ask the intention of the other person or to suggest something. When the stem of the preceding verb ends with a consonant other than 리얼, 을래요 is used as in 같이 점심 먹을래요? On the other hand, when the stem ends with a vowel or the consonant 리얼, 리얼래요 is attached as in 백화점에 
갈래요? This ending can also be used to show the resolution or intention of the speaker like 네, 먹을래요? 아니요? 집에 있을래요? 을게요. It is combined with a verb and used when the speaker is promising to take a certain action. So, 제가 할게요. It's like the speaker promising that he or she'll do something. 제가 읽을게요. I will read it. I promise I'll do that. Again, well done guys. Today we practiced how to ascertain the situation involved in the conversation and choose the picture that best depicts it. Please feel free to leave any questions you might come across while studying in the comment section. And see you next class. Bye!